It's been nearly six months since two Schuylkill County teens were murdered and no one has been charged in their deaths. The bodies of 16 year old Angelito Carvalho and 18 year old Hunter Mock were found in the woods right near New Philadelphia last October. 2822 News I team reporter Andy Mahalschik talked with Carvalho's mother today. Andy's in studio. Andy, what did she have to say to you today? Well, Nick, Tanya Evans had a lot to say, mostly that she is frustrated and just wants closure and justice. I can tell you the New Philadelphia community continues to support the families. There was a special moment today that took place as we were interviewing Evans. You know, they're always going to be remembered, you know. Kathleen Reichwein said she just had to pull over and stop as we were interviewing Angelito Carabello's mother, Tanya Evans, and Melinda McDonald, Angelito's cousin. My heart goes out to your family, and I've been praying for you all along. And then they all prayed. Can I pray for you? Yeah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray, Lord, that you would just, that, that you would just comfort these women, Lord God. The bodies of Angelito Caraballo and Hunter Mock were found in a wooded area off Ferndale Road in New Philadelphia on October 10th. They went missing and were murdered on the night of October 8th. Mock was shot in the head. Caraballo died from puncture wounds and lacerations. The I-team obtained video of Mock and Caraballo on the night they were murdered as they left Mock's apartment. According to a search warrant affidavit, two young men were at the murder scene that night, including 19-year-old Lamore Branch. They tell very different versions of what happened that night. Now, Branch was arrested in connection with an unrelated burglary case. I feel like he's not going to be at peace until justice is served. The families of the teens just want closure. Well, we actually have his birthday coming up, April 3rd. Um, that will be the first one without him physically being here. Um, we do still feel his presence. I want justice just like everybody else. He is my cousin and I want justice for him. The state police will only say at this point the investigation is moving forward. Now you can see all of our previous reports on the murder investigation on our website, pahomepage.com. Nick and Ken's back to you. An emotional day for sure. Thanks, Andy.